the accident investigators have only begun their work. Uh, they can't yet deduce what may have happened, although they've now recovered the flight data recorders. They will be interested that this was a, a relatively new aircraft that had only been in service for about four months. It's the same type of aircraft as the one flown by uh, Lion Air, which had uh, the accident later last year. And the accident happened in the same phase of flight, that is to say only a few minutes after departure. But having said that those three things are similar, Accidents are so complex, there can be so many factors and so random that can lead to or contribute to an aircraft accident, but it's not possible to make any deductions from those pieces of apparently similar information. It's never one thing, it's always a multiple uh, combination of factors that lead to a catastrophic accident like this. And so that is what we can expect multiple factors. The Boeing 737 aircraft family is very much uh, appreciated by airlines around the world. The, the aircraft in previous models goes back 50 years, but the 737 MAX is the most recent uh, version of the aircraft. It's only been in service for a little under two years. It improves the payload uh, range capacity for airlines and is much more fuel efficient. So Boeing has garnered 5,000 or so orders for this aircraft already and we see about 350 in airline service already today. So it's a very popular aircraft and likely to be uh, even more so for the future. The 737 itself is an extremely reliable aircraft. It has been in service for decades. This is the newest evolution of it. Whenever you have a new change or a new aircraft or a substantially uh, different model, as in this case, the engines are different to get a, a more economical uh, uh, fuel burn, and they are moved forward, changing the weight and balance of the aircraft. So there are substantial changes to the airplane. We have very occasionally, I can think of only about two occasions in the past seen aircraft grounded. Perhaps the most recent was Boeing's uh, other model, the 787. That was grounded for a period of time early in its air aircraft career. Uh, it didn't have any uh, follow-on effect. Uh, once that grounding was uh, lifted and aircraft were allowed to return to service, it's also one of Boeing's most popular aircraft models and in wide service today. So I wouldn't expect uh, uh, the findings to have an impact, whatever uh, decision is made, whether any uh, changes are required for operating procedures or to the technical specification of the aircraft.